everybody. So check these out. On a recent trip down to Moab, Utah, TFL found these interesting looking military vehicles in a parking lot. So what exactly is this vehicle that you're looking at? Well, you'll have to wait until the end of this video to find out. We will detail exactly what this thing is. But first, we're gonna look at some of the absolute coolest military side-by-sides available on the market today. Military operations inherently involve off-roading, so many popular recreational off-road companies also offer solutions for the military. Case in point, both Can-Am and Polaris, the two leading sport side-by-side -side makers, both have plenty of military versions. There's a couple other brands that build military side-by-sides as well, so come along as we go through some of the coolest on the market. We will start off with the Canadian-based company Can-Am. Now, Can-Am does not manufacture military versions itself. It actually has two official upfitters that the brand works with to prepare its side-by-sides for the military. The two builders are RP Advanced Mobile Systems and ATV Corp. So first, we'll look at what RP AMS does. This company will outfit the Can-Am Commander, Maverick X3, and the Defender depending on your needs. And in total, nine different vehicles are offered from the Strike X Tactical Unit based on the Maverick to the Arctic Emergency Response Unit based on the Commander. You can see from the brand's webpage right here all of the different vehicles that it prepares. If you look at all of these vehicles, armor protection is the one common upgrade, and then beyond that, each has a unique set of attributes. On the Strike X, for example, there is a high-capacity multimodal tactical flatbed that has been added to help move cargo, while there is also added protection in the form of a coating called RP Super Grit that covers the entire vehicle. Here's a little piece of promo footage from the company explaining what they do. Mobility in tactical terms refers to the ability of a small combat force to move effectively toward a military objective. Teams having superior mobility capabilities are able to move more quickly and prove the adage, speed is security. The ability to mobilize and respond to critical situations can often mean the difference between success and failure. A reliable, fast, lightweight, and robust vehicle is a force multiplier. RP Advanced Mobile Systems understands that mobility is a vital aspect of the modern warfighter. The RP team has tirelessly worked to increase the capabilities of military and law enforcement light mobility systems for five years. Using direct feedback from the warfighter and the first responder, RP Advanced, in partnership with BRP Can-Am, has designed and constructed the innovative Strike C, Strike M, Fire Strike, and Raptor ROEV line of vehicles. When installed in the venerable tough as nails Can-Am line of side-by-side -side vehicles, there is nothing stopping you from achieving your high consequence critical success mission. Then you have something like this Fire Strike 6x6. Now this thing is not meant for the military, it's meant specifically for fighting fires and that means it comes with run flat tires, 6 wheel drive, an 85 gallon water tank with a high pressure pump and a 50 foot hose. Based on the Defender Can-Am's utility model, there is the RP Strike D series. Now the D-Series has that tactical front bumper and extra armor like the rest, but it also gets a modular front cargo rack, dual NATO litter restraint systems, which allows you to put a stretcher on the front and the rear of this machine. There are upgraded shocks here for more payload and run flat tires. Now that's enough from RPAMS. There's also ATV Corp. Now this company builds the Prowler lineup using both the Can-Am Commander and Maverick. Payload capacity is a big deal for these machines as most of them have nearly a one to one weight to payload ratio. Now that's enough of Can-Am. Let's go take a look at what Polaris offers. Now, unlike that Canadian company, Polaris builds all of its own military vehicles in-house, starting with the smallest for a single rider, the MV850. This is of course based on the popular Sportsman ATV, and it comes with 
full skid plates, a 3,000 pound winch, keyless ignition, and more. But we're here to look at side by side, so the next model when you look up is the MRZR or the M Razor. Now it can be had in both two and four seat configurations, and upgraded suspension means that the payload here is at a thousand pounds. Powering the M Razor, you can either get a gasoline or a diesel engine. And with that diesel specifically, you get an alternator that makes 107 amps at 3700 RPM. Transporting these vehicles and getting them where they need to go is also very important, which is why the M Razor has specially built aircraft tie down points and it is approved to be moved by a number of different planes and helicopters. Now this vehicle can also be transported underneath the helicopter and dropped into combat thanks to its lightweight design. There's one vehicle bigger than the M Razor at Polaris and that is the Dagor A1. Now the Dagor is a troop transport capable of handling nine soldiers with full kits and weapons and you can see all of that laid out right here. Payload capacity for this vehicle is rated at 4,000 pounds while the gross vehicle weight rating comes in at 8,500 pounds which means that the Dagor itself weighs just over 4,000 pounds. But despite its heavy weight, the A1 still maintains airdrop and sling load capabilities, so this thing can also be dropped from beneath a helicopter. Power for the Dagor 1 comes from a turbo diesel engine, though Polaris does not list the specifics. Now the brand does say that the Dagor has a total range of 500 miles and a 24 volt auxiliary power terminal which is operated off the engine. Just like Polaris, our friends over at John Deere also build their very own military spec vehicles. Though it definitely leans towards the utility side of things, take a look here at the M Gator A1. Power for the A1 comes from a 20.8 horsepower three cylinder diesel engine. Now out back is where the A1 is really gonna earn its money. It has a 10 gauge steel bed designed to carry 1,000 pounds of payload. Reconfigurable bed walls means that there are a number of different ways you can use the bed on this machine to make sure it's ready to carry just about anything. Now the frame here has been reinforced to prepare for those airdrops while tie down points are also fitted to make sure this vehicle can be transported inside of airplanes and helicopters. John Deere also has a smaller option. This is the M Gator A3T, which comes with a full cab enclosure and is capable of handling 1,400 pounds. Next up, we're gonna look at what could be the future of the military. This is the Nikola Reckless. Now you might remember the Nikola NZT. That's a side-by-side -side the brand is preparing to release next year. What makes it unique is that it is all electric and the Reckless is the military version. So the Reckless packs 590 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque, but most importantly, Nikola says the range is 150 miles. When it does come time to recharge, if you have a DC fast charger, the Reckless can regain up to 80% of its battery life in just two hours. Using an all-electric powertrain is appealing for a few reasons. First of all, it is silent. Second of all, because of the lack of internal combustion, there is no air needed, so technically the Reckless is entirely waterproof. It has an IP67 rating, which means that the machine can be submerged in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes with no harm done. Four passengers can fit in the Reckless, while different weapon systems can be mounted on the roof. Finally, payload capacity here is at a total of 1,260 pounds. And now let's get back to what we saw out in Moab. So what you're looking at here is the BC Customs SXV. Designed specifically for military use, this vehicle is certainly a little bit bigger than many of those other side-by-sides. It also has a modular weapons mounting system on the roof, which is capable of housing a number of different weapons from a Gatling gun to a rocket launcher and more. Now the exact engine specs are not listed, but BC Customs does offer both gas and diesel versions, along with some pretty heavy duty hardware, including one ton axles, nine inch Ford differentials, and an Atlas II transfer case. The SXV also has an extended rear deck, which allows for more storage and stretchers to be attached. 
Off-road vehicles in the military are certainly nothing new, but these days with how many great side-by-side -side options there are, the military has more good choices than ever for getting over rough terrain and into the battlefield. So that's it for this video guys, why don't you go below, leave a comment, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button while you're down there, and then of course come right back here to TFL for the latest news views and real world reviews. See ya.